why everyone hates PHP and why you should too. I, you know, I feel like I, I could like PHP. Let's just say it like that. PHP is terrible. Between all of the programming languages that have ever existed, few of them are as hated as PHP is. This programming language is hated by the coding community while still having a loyal user base. But why is PHP hated by the community? And is it actually as hated as the internet makes it look like? You'll find out in this video, where I'll also bring my PHP programmer friend who will tell us his opinion on the language and how he- Okay, real talk, I think PHP is better than JavaScript. Like, you guys think PHP is, is worse than JavaScript? Have you seen how good PHP has gotten? Go watch the Aaron Francis video, then come back to me and tell me about that, okay? The thing is, is that if you think, if, if your version of PHP that sucks is version 5.4, you're right. Version 5.4 sucked. But PHP today is not PHP from 10 years ago, okay? It is very, 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 very different. But dog, uh, PHP runs most of the internet. That doesn't make it good. Okay, that's not a way to sell me on, on its goodness. He thinks the language is actually overhated and pretty good. PHP was created to be a general purpose scripting language made for web development. It was originally created by Danish Canadian programmer Ramses Lerk. Okay, that's entirely too many. You, Danish Canadian? Like, does that also make you French by, by, by Canadian? Roots? Should you toss up three flags up there? How many flags does a man get? In 1993 and released in 1995. It handles the back end of websites and is generally used to handle form data, manage databases, and create custom content for websites. Programming languages are supposed to offer a vast number of possibilities. Syntax, algorithm, that's what makes the beauty of it. When learning Python, you can easily make any program you want. That is not the case with PHP. It's often criticized for its ease of use and lack of opportunities. Anyone can code in PHP, and many inexperienced developers Developers pick up the programming language and start writing functional but problematic code, which is difficult to understand. Is that true? I mean, there's a lot of statements that just got said there that I, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to unwind. Um, okay, first off, Python. Python easy. Yes, Python very easy. It, it, does Python become hard? Yes, Python become very hard. Large Python program, very hard. Me, Grug Brain, me can't handle large Python program. Large Python program, very hard. Is PHP hard? PHP has gotten very interesting. PHP has traits, okay? That makes it a completely different, like that That changes. It, it, it's on a trajectory that's very exciting. Can you make PHP a mess? Yes. Uh, even back in the day, it was pretty easy to make PHP a mess, but it was also really easy to actually have a decent organization in PHP. Like I made some pretty large programs in PHP. And when I said large, this was, remember, this was 2000, and, this was 2009 internet backend, okay? These are not like, Large backends were not that large, and I was sitting at like 25,000 lines of PHP library code, and it worked pretty well. And can we just be real for a second? The LAMP stack slash ZAMP, if you're on Windows, that was pretty awesome. That was a pretty great environment. Anyone who says the LAMP stack was, was bad, you, you suck. It was pretty dang good. Most of the internet applications that are horizontally scaling, that have microservices, that have all the latest things, that has that drizzle ORM feel on top of the Keesley planet scale, Terso, all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. You know what? Most of you guys have zero users anyways. And so it doesn't really matter what you choose for your stack. You got nothing and you have more servers than you have users. And it probably doesn't matter as much as you think it does, as much as a very simple, simple application. Just a little bit of PHP, a little bit of my squeal, bada bing, bada boom. That's how I did my first startup. I'm just saying. PHP has Terso Lib now. Okay, PHP is awesome. Terso is actually really good. Uh, again, uh, by the way, I'm going to be starting a series. Uh, I, I type one in the chat if you're excited about this. I was sitting in a room with uh, with one of the founders of Terso, and he's an old Linux contributor. He's been contributing to uh, to Linux for, for decades. And he was telling me this story about how time goes backwards due to how the crystals work and how the resolution of the algorithms work. And it just goes on and on about how like just like these crazy bugs were coming up in the Linux kernel due to time. And I'm sitting there thinking, you know what we're missing? We don't have the the oral tradition for all these just funny things that happened. We're kind of missing that goodness. Maybe we need an oral tradition of just the dumbest things ever. So you remember that one post where uh, Linus 
completely tears apart that one guy that's like, your code is always shit, you're always these things, blah, 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 blah. Turns out that guy is good friends also with the founder of Terso, and he's going to come on the show as well, and we're going to talk about it. We're going to hear about these things. We're going to hear about, like, the re... the. the, the the good stuff. We're going to hear about like the things that there is no story around. There is no one knows it except for the people that lived through it. And that's that. Anyway, sorry. Very excited about it. Uh, so, one, if you like that idea. I think I like the idea personally. The lore. I just want the lore. I just want lore. PHP is good. PHP is good. DHH coming. I, I would like DHH to come on here. I, I think it could be. I think it could be some of the best... Uh, uh, tech content of all time it's just deep lore that just you can't get the only problem i see with the deep lore is i feel like the deep lore is only best talked about at 9 p.m at night after two brazilian mojitos okay i forget what the brazilian mojitos are called but you know i feel like there's like this there's just this time you know like there's a certain mentality you have to have understand and really messy without forgetting the lack of security in the web apps that result from that i mean php is a programming language like any other you can make anything you want with it but the difference is how you can solve problems in those languages wait what didn't you just say that you can't you can't solve every problem which is php was originally designed with a focus on web development and its primary use case is evident in its architecture while it is possible to create command line programs in php it wasn't the language really you can fully just create command line programs these days D does that mean we get an exe you sweaty nerds or do we still get code do we get code or do we get exes which ones do we get yeah, the campfire code stores. Yeah, this is what I want. It's something that I've been really thinking about. You get code? See, I just want the EXEs, you smelly nerds. A zip? You want to give me a zip? Dude, there's nothing that triggers normies more than a tar. Okay, if you tar B, if you, if you tar BZ those sons of bitches, oh man, <laughs> you just crossed a line that you can't come back from. <laughs> intended purpose. Additionally, early <laughs> versions of PHP were known for their somewhat makeshift nature. Ramses Lerdorf initially yeah. conceived PHP as a template language for his web pages, which influenced its early development. I can go on Reddit and write that I want to learn PHP, and most of the answers will be to go for another programming language and get a greater return for your time. They are not wrong, since its reputation has taken over, and people tend to recommend more modern and suitable languages, just like Python to beginners. So why? But like, that's the thing, you know, they're saying that, but again, PHP has some of the most modern language features these days. New PHP is more modern than JavaScript. So what's that all about? I waste your time learning that language. Well, to see that, let's analyze a snippet of PHP code together. We're first going to start by installing the language. And here is a sample code that will run. This is a simple login page made with PHP. And as you can see, the code is hard to read. This could maybe come from me. Well, I mean, you just sped it up super, super fast. It's really not that hard to read. It's just a template. You're just looking at a template. That doesn't feel hard. I mean, uh, real talk, that doesn't feel hard. Templates have never been hard. Templates are really easy. Okay? They generally are just super easy. I, You know, when you give me a 400-line function that's, ooh, react with hooks and a bunch of use, with use effects and all that shit in there and a bunch of components that it calls out, I find that to be pretty hard to go through. Like, real talk, I find that to be really difficult to go through a bunch of stuff. Have you not had a, have you not worked in in uh, in professional environments? You go into see the thing is is react and and some of these modern uh, some of these modern ways of doing front ends are really nice until you go into a into a a program that's been programmed for the last three years, and all of a sudden it's not nice anymore. All the niceness has died because that one product manager really wanted that one feature, and then it completely destroys your life, okay? And it makes you emotionally painful, and then people have to naturally take shortcuts, and those shortcuts end with just abominations that exist, okay? They just exist, and it's okay. It happens. I'm not upset about the abomination, okay? But to just simply say that that previous thing was bad and nothing else was bad. Who hurt you? I've been working in the industry for like 20 years, okay? That's who hurt me. The world, real products, actual million line code bases, okay? They hurt you because that's how it works, okay? 
This is just what happens. If you've never taken a shortcut on top of someone else's shortcut on top of someone else's shortcut on top of some system level bug to cover it up, you have never done professional programming, okay? All you've done is great field weak sauce programs. You need to be in the you need to be at the place where your comments are Jira tickets and your Jira tickets have a history of changes referring to other Jira tickets for every shitty decision you've made for the last four years running, okay? That's real enterprise programming. Bro, I created Lola, bro, okay? Absolutely upsetting, you guys. Me not knowing the language enough, but the language is well known for its lack of strict structure and conventions, which results in inconsistent. I believe there, I mean, I do feel like this was a super unfair comparison, and I assume that this unfair comparison was made such that He's going to come back with his friend, and his friend is going to say something that, like, kind of changes your mind. Because that was just like, look at the templating. It's bad programming. It's like, yeah, but that's just the templating part. There's still, like, this whole – there's still this, like, whole other aspect to life. ...and difficult to maintain code. Auditing and maintenance become really hard. Well, I mean, just imagine coming back from a week of vacation and taking a look at that. This has definitely contributed. I can't, I, feel, I can't tell if he's being real or not. I'm just waiting for the turnaround, right? And gotcha, right? Because that's... Dude, imagine going on a week of vacation and coming back, coming back to this, okay? G imagine trying to d d do math on, on partitioning virtual boxes again, okay? Look at this, to-do. I hate this interface. I forgot to remove the to-do. I now like the interface because I created a quad tree parameter which has row depth columns and stride. I use the term stride! Contributed to the negative outlook on the language and its bad reputation. If you've been watching this long and have enjoyed the video, consider interacting with the video in some way. It helps with the algorithm. Now, anyone can understand that if a programming language has high demand in the market and will make you good money, I'm not going to waste your time. It doesn't. Most companies aren't looking for PHP developers anymore, resulting in videos like PHP will make you poor by Fireship, where he says that... Like, right now, if you're struggling to get into the industry and all you know is React and JavaScript, Java, C Sharp... PHP, go. Like there's a lot, there's like a lot of ways to start getting it. No, I wouldn't say Rust because Rust only has like four jobs and they're all in cryptocurrency. So like, that's like, you know, you know, that's a, uh, it's a thing that you should be aware of. COBOL actually is a shocking, is probably a good way to get paid really well. If you got, if I am, I'm, I'm talking about jobs. Okay. Real jobs. You wouldn't understand if, if you wanted to get a job and make some serious ass money, okay, ASS dash money kind of money or ass money, honestly, COBOL is probably the way to do it. You could get paid like 400 grand within a year. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. But the thing is, is once it becomes a hype, it will immediately crash and it'll be worth nothing. So it's kind of like this really weird, it's like this really, really weird zone that it lives in. Nobody wants to learn it. So it continues to be super valuable. But if you do learn it, you're going to make a lot of money. But then if everyone learns it, you're going to make no money. It's crazy. HTML programmers make more money than PHP programmers. And we can definitely all agree that HTML is a programming language, right? Well, PHP can't be so bad, right? Well, no. The language has its ups and is made for a wider community, explaining its simplicity. Now, my friend will tell us about his experience with PHP and why it's not actually as bad as people make it out to be. I started using PHP in school. It was pretty difficult to write complex code for a dynamic website. <laughs> I'm laughing because I just figured whoever was going to be coming on was going to be someone that was like maybe really well known in the PHP world. This is just a dude writing PHP. It's pretty great. I mean, that's pretty great. Dude, here's my friend. He writes PHPs. He writes the PHPs. Just some dude. This is pretty great. Sites. Because of the syntax, our code became very unreadable. But then a few years later, I stumbled upon Laravel, a powerful but simple framework utilizing PHP to create web applications. Laravel convinced me that PHP isn't bad at all. I also did some scripting and I learned a lot from it. There are plenty of libraries to build whatever you want in an efficient and secure way. If you want to learn PHP to keep up with the industry, no problem. But nowadays, JavaScript and Java are at the lead. JavaScript can be used for anything, including strong backends, which can perform very well. Well, conclusion of the video, don't learn PHP. Let's just say it. No, the, 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 the conclusion of the video was wrong. The guy who just said that was wrong. He just said that it creates high-performance backends.
That's not true. It's not true at all. He just said how great Laravel was, and then he's just like Java, JavaScript, car, carpet, like just make it go. Dude, that's, that's just not true. I think PHP is a great language. There you go. Am I going to use PHP anytime soon? Probably not. Do I like PHP? Yeah, I actually do kind of like PHP. If I decided to go LARPing today and just write some, um, some code that's unusual, I'd probably go write in PHP because it'd be fun. You know what? It would be fun. I just don't agree with this, with this take in the video. I just don't believe it. I think that the, you need a little bit more substance in this because PHP, you can't show, you can't show templates and then be like, look how bad it is. Because like, if I grab any Go template and show it to you, or any template, or just a bunch of JSX with use effects and scroll really fast, you're going to be like, what the hell am I even looking at? There's so much. Of course it won't work, right? That's a hot pick of Elon. That is some hot Elon right there. Young Elon. So hot. <laughs> the name is Young Elon. So hot a gin.